The Lord gave me a revelation that I'm yet to share with Mutemites. I, I will preach it on Sunday. This is serious. The church of Jesus in this nation is sitting on a time bomb. The church of Jesus is sitting on a time bomb. Let me explain. I will tell them. We don't have a television station, so I'm looking for a platform where it can fly. Now hear me. When you remove the pin from a grenade, what happens? Okay. The only way you can ensure that the grenade does not explode is to cover your hand with the pin on it. Am I correct? Now, the Lord showed me the pin have been removed. So the church is only sitting on the edge of the grenade waiting for explosion. If they stand up, it will explode. And I said, Daddy, what can the church do now? And the Lord said to me, Son, the only way the church can be saved now is when they absolutely, completely hold on to me. I'm the only one that can stop the bomb from exploding. God said, I should tell you, church, that he, the almighty God, is the only one that can prevent the church, most especially in Nigeria, from going into extinction. From the church collapsing. And the anger of the Lord, the reason why the Lord left the church to this is because he said, I should tell them that they are fighting his servants. He said, one Nigerians, they are fighting his servants. The Lord said to me, he said, the servants of God in this nation, they are the umbrella upon which we are not destroyed. And he said, tell them that the heart of the servants of God in this nation is almost polluted towards the church now. Many servants of God are only holding themselves now from making a pronunciation. Because the people whom they are dying for, the same people are not protecting them, but they are after them. It's a very strong message. Let those who have ears, let them hear. You need the servants of God in this nation to pray for you. Your insults on them, God have heard. Your negative statements against them, God have heard. I'm going to be saying it the next few days for the whole world to hear. And I will warn them. I will warn them. The Lord said the reason why the church of Jesus have been striving in this nation is because servants of God have been praying. He said, but now your words have eaten them so negatively that they are getting frustrated from praying for you. And it's going to be preposterous. It's going to be disastrous. It's going to be an omen. In your various homes, as you leave the church here tonight, you need to start crying for mercy for the church. And the Lord said to me, the Lord said to me, it's not the outsiders that are against the church. It's the church that is against the church. I'm wondering you what he said to me. I'm going to be saying it very loudly this week. You need to ask for mercy for your fellow brothers and sisters who are not in church today. Not only Motemites, everywhere. Because the words that they are speaking against the servants of God, God have heard. And it will get to a point that even their intercession can no longer stop God from afflicting the people. Moses tried to intercede for Aaron and Miriam. God said, don't tell me anything about them. I must deal with them for speaking against you. I must deal with them. And Aaron became, or Miriam became a leper. After she was healed from leprosy, after seven days, she died. A few moments after that, God said, remove the garment from Aaron. So anytime God is angry because people are talking against his servants, he does about three things. He leaves the church to become lepers, to become leprous. He leaves the people to become lepers. You walk, nothing happens. You walk, you don't see result. You do anything, you pray, no result. You do anything, no result. That is leprosy. Number two, you are, your garment is removed. Your garment of protection is removed. 
And the moment the garment is removed, you are, you are exposed to anything. You can die anytime. And number three, you are ostracized from the society. They send you out. Please tell the church to be one. Tell the church to be one. At the church of Jesus, this is a warning. Let them stop speaking against the servants of God. Tell them to leave Suleiman alone, Apostle Johnson Suleiman. Tell them to leave Pastor E. Adeboye alone. Leave these men alone. Leave them. Leave Bishop Boyedebo alone. These are men sent by God. Everything you do against them, God is angry. May the Lord help his church. Motemites, you whom I know, never be privy to any negative discussion against the anointed of God. Don't be part of it. In fact, as you are scrolling through your phones, when you see any time they are talking against men of God, quickly just run away from there. It's a time bomb. It's waiting to explode. In a few moments, you won't know why believers are dying everywhere. The bomb has been released. When the bomb is released, the death is going to be much. Everyone speaking against the servants of God, God is going to go after them. I'm warning you. I hear God. I'm telling you what that he told me. Stop speaking against them. Stop speaking against them. Start praying for them. May God help us.